Well, chances are you've heard how Minnesotan Suni Lee won a gold medal at the Olympics last summer, but some other Minnesotans also became world champions last month. Four of the five members of the USA Deaf Curling team and their coach live right here in Minnesota. In tonight's Maury Stories, Maury Glover shows us their road to gold. Really exciting opportunity, cool people, and people play for a reason. Almost every night of the week, the St. Paul Curling Club is full of people playing the popular winter sport. So my weight on that last one was mine. While most of them are ready to rock, Some of them actually curl with a twist. A lot of deaf people don't know anything about curling. Deaf people are not told that it's even an opportunity that they could potentially be involved in. On this particular night, the USA Deaf Curling Team is practicing its craft. Speaking through an interpreter, Herman Fetchman says he's been curling the longest after catching the sport on TV with his wife during the Winter Olympics 16 years ago. I like a, this sport because it's an opportunity to play with other people. It's not an individual sport. It has a team dynamic. Fetchman recruited Calvin Rausch, and the two were part of a team that won the silver medal at the Deaf Olympics in 2007. I'm a farm boy. You know, I'm doing a lot of raking, a lot of front yard type of work, and I enjoy movement. And because of that, I enjoyed the opportunity to do this as well. Steve Hubmer grew up watching his family curl in Mapleton, Minnesota, but he didn't participate himself until he was an adult. It's something that I had watched but never did, and I wish I had started a long time ago, but now I'm involved. While Ryan Johnson took to the ice a few years ago, after a field trip to a curling clinic with some of his deaf students sparked his interest. The culture of it, it's more of a rooted, long, historical type of sport as, you know, opposed to something more recent. The team says while hearing curlers shout to sweepers about how they should move the stone down the ice as they take each shot, deaf curlers use hand signals to communicate with the other players on their team. It's very helpful because if we are on ice from a distance, we can see one another and communicate with one another in that way. That's one difference that we definitely utilize when we're playing. We throw the same, we sweep the same, all of the movements are the same. The difference is how we communicate with one another on the ice. We use sign language instead of words. I think it's both an advantage and disadvantage. I mean, like I think they said earlier, they can communicate across the ice with the hearing people. We have to shout across there. We're shouting above everybody else that's out there. Um, and so that's one good thing about the hand signals. The, the, uh, the bad part of it is when they're sweeping, they need, really need two hands to sweep us. So it's hard to sign with one hand and trying to sweep with the other. So that's one of the disadvantages. After being selected during tryouts in Blaine last fall, the team qualified to compete in the World Deaf Curling Championship in Banff, Alberta, Canada in March. And with three come from behind victories, they beat out Ukraine to win the gold medal for the first time in the team's history. Oh, it was amazing. It was not expected. It was difficult. It was a tough journey that I've been on. Um, all of the three playoff games, I feel as though we're difficult. We would lose a little bit and then come back. We would win. We've known one another for a long time, but to come together and achieve that goal is exciting. Team members credit their success to chemistry. And with only about 10 deaf curlers in all of Minnesota, they hope their golden moment convinces other deaf athletes to take up the sport. We work together very well. The four of us have different personalities, absolutely. But at the same time, when we come together as a team, we just click. And at the Deaf Olympics in another two years, they hope to make a clean sweep of the competition again. And gold, that happens once in a lifetime. And we are now gold for life. Nobody can take that from us. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Wow. Congratulations. So cool, right? Those still photos are amazing too because they capture the absolute moment of victory and just beautiful. Yep.